Blackburn Rovers have scored 16 goals in the past five games and they return to league action where they head to Peterborough. We'll talk about the match and more on today's show. <laughs> ho, 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 indeed. That's right, folks. Back once again with another match preview building up to the Peterborough game. But before we get stuck into the thick of things, it is the season of giving, and I'm asking you guys to give to me a big old fat subscription. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, will keep you bang up to date with all things back from Rovers. Their games are coming thick and fast. We'll talk about that in just one second. But let's bring you up to speed, first and foremost. Last time out, uh, it was the Blackpool game, but uh, between then and now, there's been an FA Cup Match between Blackburn Rovers and Crew Alexander. What a what a spectacular that game was. Uh, three three it finished. Rovers three nil up at half time, but uh, Crew Alexandra pulled everything out of the bag, including the referee. That's right, who sent two Blackburn Rovers players off, uh, and they called themselves back into it to finish the game three three. Just recap the scores, and then Dominic Samuel got a brace. Uh, Danny Graham was in there, sandwiched between those two Dominic Samuel goals. Um, that's actually 3 0 up after 15 minutes. But a red card on the 33, 33rd minute for Harper. Uh, I think it was a straight red. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And then uh, a couple of minutes later, Porter for Crew Alexandra put, uh, put the game back on its head a little bit on the 35th minute with a goal. Then in the second half, uh, Rovers still realistically should have should have seen this game out. But uh, on the 56th minute, another red card for Elliot Bennett. And he serves a full game ban. And that's actually got consequences for the Peterborough match, which we'll talk in just one second. And then uh, a couple, two goals later for uh, Crew Alexander. Another one from Porter from the spot on the 66th minute. Just before that, Nolan on the 63rd minute. So those two will meet again at Gresty Road, December 12th. Uh, and the winner will take on Hull at their own place and hopefully it'll be Rovers. But anyway, let's jump a little bit deeper actually. This is what I'm trying to get to. The games are coming thick and fast. You yeah, have a quick look at here. This, this is Rovers' schedule for the next, but well, pretty much for the month of December. There's eight games in there. In fact, the Wimbledon game has been postponed. But I think if we do beat Crew Alexandra on the 12th of the 12th, uh, stick in uh, another FA Cup game right there. Uh, against Hull City. So it will still be eight goals in just about one month's time. Right now, it might be easy pickings or uh, easy goings because we just have a couple games. But once we hit uh, December the 23rd, it does get crazy with one, two, three, four games in the space of maybe eight days. So it's pretty mental. And uh, just imagine if you're doing two videos per game. Oh, mental. Yes, that's right. Anyway, let's get back to the matter at hand, which is the Peterborough game. Uh, let's take a look at it a little bit closer. So the game itself will be held at London Road, Saturday the 9th of December 2017. Last season, Peterborough finished 11th. Currently, top goal scorer is Jack Marriott. 13 goals. I think he might even be top of the table overall. It might be even Kiefer Moore from Rotherham. One or two. He's up there anyway. Key man, man pulling the strings is Grant McCann. Over the years, they've only met six times and it's pretty even Stevens. Uh, uh, Peter winning three. Blackburn Rovers winning three. So, of the last couple of fixtures, or the last three at uh, London Road, let's take a look at this. Last time out, uh, Blackburn Rovers, 4-1 winners. Uh, before that, and that was in 2012. Before that, it was had to go all the way back to 1974, uh, where Blackburn Rovers lost 1 0 to Peterborough. And if you turn the clock all the way back to 1961, that's the top of the shot right there. That was in a League Cup, Blackburn Rovers 3 1 winners. So, how are they going to line up? Uh, this <laughs> is my lineup, little elves. O'Malley in goals, he's, he's tucked away there behind the Christmas tree. He's there though. Baldwin, Taylor, Tafazelli, Edwards. Grant, Doherty, Madison, Da Silva Lopez, Lloyd McGoldrick, and that main man Marriott. He is the danger man, and I do not want to give him uh, any minutes play. So uh, Downing, Mulgrew, sniff him out. Pronto. These are the uh, important statistics. Marriott tops the goals there. I've got 14 goals. 14, 13, I think maybe cup competitions might have uh, bumped him up one there. Uh, Madison there with seven. Lloyd McGoldrick with five. Edwards with five. So there's goal scores are plenty 
for Peter Bra. As for discipline, Grant's there with nine yellows, Edward Sevens, Madison with three, Miller has three red cards. They've only got the one, and that's Grant. So let's take a look at the form book. Last time out, they took on Woking in the FA Cup, and they stumbled to a 1 1 draw. Before that, in the league, they were also held to a draw at Charlton. Uh, way back in the 25th of November, they lost away to Rochdale. Before that, in their home, their last home game was a 2 1 win over Portsmouth. Uh, turn the clock back further to Saturday, 18th of November. They lost also at home to Blackpool. There goes my phone. So, as for Rovers, this is how they all line up Ryan, Nayimbi, Downing, Mulgrew, Williams, Conway, Whittingham, Smallwood, and Dak. Uh, Dominic Samuel and Daniel Graham will get the nod for me. Their form uh, together has been pretty, pretty awesome recently, especially in the FA Cup. Before all the drama and also uh, towards the back end of the uh, Blackpool game, um, some critical bit of play, uh, and they've just they've just gelled recently. And I think that we should we should start with them at Peterborough. It's a game where I think we're not necessarily gonna gonna run away with it. Obviously, we are playing well uh, despite that hiccup in the FA Cup. We didn't lose it. We're still unbeaten. We're still going on a nice bit of a run. The, the confidence should be there. The referee was horrendous. Uh, and we were down to nine men for the huge portion of the game. So that should uh, uh, play into the favour of, of Blackburn and uh, the Mighty Rovers. So, um, yeah, I think what the, you know they're not going to be disheartened about the result. It's, yeah, it's going to be a little frustrating that they have to play another game. But uh, I'm sure we'll take care of business at Gresty Road. But that's, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that when that comes up. But, but for Peterborough, they're a tough side. They are sitting seventh. Blackburn Rovers in fourth. Uh, I would happily, I know it would probably go against the, the momentum, but I would happily take a point right here, right now. Um, but uh, the way we're playing, uh, we're, we're scoring goals. Um, and we just got to score more than Jack Marriott because he's the man putting the ball in the back of the net for them. As for the statistics, sorry I've rambled on a bit. Let's take a look at the statistics. We've got a new top goal scorer, Dominic Samuels, up there with eight. It was actually joint there with Mar uh, Marcus Antonison. Uh, Charlie Mulgrew's there with seven. Uh, Bradley Dax also got six. As for the yellows, Small has got six. Ben's got five. Evans has got five. And Williams has four. Into the reds, Elliot Bennett tops the pops with two. It's a chart that he doesn't really want to top. Dominic Samuels got one. Wharton's got one. And Harper's now in there with one. We were doing so well. As for the form book, uh, obviously last time out we drew with Crew Alexander. Before that, we beat Blackpool at their place 4 2. Before that, it was a 2 1 home victory against Bristol Rovers. Before that, it was a away victory in the Kazam Stadium 4 2 away victory over Oxford and also 3 0 away victory over Berry. So we are playing well, we're scoring goals. Um, there was a couple of shaky moments in the Bristol Rovers game, uh, but Blackpool, the Blackpool game was, was fairly confident. Uh, and I'm hoping if we could give that kind of dis uh, display again at Peterborough. Um, it, you know, we seem to be playing better away than we are at home. So hopefully that we could take that uh, mentality into the game. It ain't going to be easy, um, but no game is. But fingers crossed that we'll get over the line Saturday with another three points and close that gap to those top two spaces, uh, the automatic spots. So you know what I've had to say, what the fans been saying on social media. It's a home for banter, but it's also a home for good cause. Dennis Greenwood on the Rovers Facebook page says, I believe it's going to be a minute's applause at the start of the second half. Tributes to passionate posh fan and charity fundraiser. So guys, if you go to the game, get ready and be respectful to the posh and also for the charity. Um, you know, we always want to help out our fellow football fans uh, whenever we can. Meanwhile, Matt Weston said, I'm a massive posh fan and I've missed one game at home in three years. But I have to say, because of my relationship with the people I know in my hometown from Blackburn, some of my most valued friends, I have a soft spot for Rovers. Of course, I hope we beat you. But in turn, I hope Rovers win the league. Up the more, up the rock. Hope all Rovers fans visiting my proud city tomorrow have a great day. Stand and sing your hearts out for the lads, as we will for hours. Come on, or game on. Now, this is a bit of a weird one. It says tomorrow, but that was actually posted on November the 6th, 15th. So, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But, uh, yeah. Moving on. Uh, Aaron T uh, Trainer said this. Peterborough away, anyone? And then Peter Joyce responds with uh, a quick Google search to say, basically saying, who the heck are Peterborough? 
Uh, Tom Green said, just got my tickets, lad. And Graham Bank Bateson said, got mine. So they all know boys are going. So it's going to be massive uh, turnout for the Rovers fans, I'm sure. Uh, Phil Gardner says, around 1,000 tickets sold for Peterborough on Saturday. Being brutally honest, that's more than what I thought we would sell. Would be class if we could sell it out. Thinking we're pushing it, though. Hopefully about 1,200 in total. Alan Parkinson says, bring it on. Tony Mowbray's Blue Wood Army. Robert Howarth said, a long distance as well and coming up to christmas that's right you know it's it's gonna get it's gonna get worse over the over the next few weeks if you if you're planning to go to each and every game it's going to get worse uh, but fair play to you if you do if you go to all these eight games over the next four weeks big respect to you because that is a lot of mileage but and it's going to be blooming cold um but i'll have a hot chocolate for you i mean in my house I promise i promise Anyway, Graham Bateson says, come on, London Rovers, get on the national paces. Yes. And then Robert Howarth also says, but I'm going, can't wait. Be a good game, hopefully, and three points for us. Indeed, Howarth, indeed. Kai Platt says, Blackburn's showing us how to really bottle a lead against a lesser team. Not so eager to pipe up now, are you? 3-0 and you screw it up. And Peterborough, don't think we don't see you draw to a non-league team as well. Replays all around. And then Mason Taylor was quick to put to put in there. We had, we had nine flipping men. Kai Platt quickly snapped back there. All your own doing, mate. Not like you started with nine men, is it? And then Matthew Drink said nine men. Repeat, nine men. Repeat, nine men. Yes, we were down to nine men. Uh, Levy Werrett slapped this poll out there on Facebook. Biggest embarrassment to the league this weekend. Fly, Flid, whatever it is. One, Wigan, one. Blackburn 3, Crew 3, Woking 1, Peterborough 1. We came in a good second spot behind those Latics, Ticks, whatever. They came out top spots, um, it looks like anyway, from this chart. Well, what can we say? Still in the cup, fourth in the league. Got a game in hand on third. Uh, what can we say? We're looking up. We're looking up. We're going to take down those top two spots before, you know, before the year is out. Over the years, a number of players have played for both Blackburn Rovers and Peterborough. Here are just two of them. The mighty Jimmy Quinn. That's right, he's played for Blackburn Rovers and he also played for Peterborough United. Meanwhile, this fella, Martin Samuelson, he also he played for Peterborough United and he also made a couple of appearances for Blackburn Rovers. Uh, youngster, looks a bit like Bieber. But those two are just a couple of familiar faces that have played for both Blackburn Rovers and Peter. But I am saving a few for the return leg at Ewood Park. But if you can't wait, head over to my WordPress site. I've got the full list there in all its glory. So you can beat your buddies to it and uh, let them know who's played for both. <laughs> well, you heard what I've had to say. You've heard what the fans have had to say. But what the heck does Cast the Cat think is going to happen in this weekend's matchup between Peter and Blackburn Rovers? <laughs> a lot folks but before i go a couple of little things it is the season to get festive and, and and jolly and all that kind of good stuff and i have decked out the place got the fire going and all that kind of good stuff but another thing for the younger viewers out there I'm gonna be playing find the yeti so in the next couple of videos i'll be i'll be hiding the yeti somewhere in shot just stick a wee comment where you where you think he is uh below and then we'll we'll, we'll see if you do well and I'll, I'll i'll give you a good shout out if you get it right um that one doesn't count also, before I go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. The games are coming thick and fast. Like I said earlier, like seven or eight games in the next four weeks. It's going to be mental. Also, big shout out to the guys at the BRFCS forum. If you haven't checked out the forum, there's a link in my description below. Great opportunity to chat with fellow Rovers fans uh, from around the world and talk about big matches such as the Peter Ravon, even the shambolic crew result. You know, it's a good place to have a good old catch up and a natter. 
about the Mighty Rovers. Um, but yes, until next time, I am on Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud and iTunes if you want to check me out on the go. Big game against Peterborough. If we could pick up a three points, that would be a great tonic for a busy month. If we could go into this month with the same mentality that we did have at the back end of November, we could storm those top two spaces before the end of 2017 and then kick on into the year 2018. We're uh, looking down the league instead of looking up. That's what I want to be. I want to be top one, two, at least by the end of the year. Mowbray, go the month without defeat. Preferably go the month without a loss. That would be even better. But anyway, I've rambled on too much. Till next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. It'll get you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers. But if you want to check out something completely different, head over to my other YouTube channel. You do that by pressing the button right there. If you want to check me out on Twitter, Facebook, details are in the description below. So till next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now.